Out of all the new features that came out in Minecraft 1.20, the one that I was most surprised to see was the armor trims. But now they are by far one of my favorite features in Minecraft. And I've especially loved seeing what people have done with the armor trims when it comes to modded Minecraft. So today we'll be looking at five different Minecraft mods that involve the armor trims. Hello, welcome to the video. I am the ghost of Michael Jackson and I have some things to confess. <laughs> the first thing is that I am not the ghost of Michael Jackson. You've been fooled. I just have this armor on which makes me invisible and the invisibility wears off simply like this. Is it just me or did armor get bulkier too? Greetings my fellow multicellular organisms, except you Ted. We all know you're a unicellular son of a bitch. In this series of five mods, the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is the trim effects mod. So now that all the ribble rabble is over, oh what does this mod do? The trim effects mod is actually pretty unique and pretty interesting. So if you take a set of armor, I think the set of armor has to be either diamond or netherite. I could be wrong about that, but I do know that the trim material you use has to be diamond or netherite. So when you have a full set of netherite or diamond armor and every single piece of that armor has the same trim applied to it, those different sets of armor will automatically give you different status effects. As you saw coming into this video, you can see that when I have a full set of the Vex armor on, it gives me invisibility. Well, what y'all think is like a uh, pretty neat dude. So yeah, you can imagine that all of the different trims are linked to their own different status effects. And here are they all them now. The sentry armor trim gives you resistance. The Vex armor trim, as we just saw, gives you invisibility. The wild armor trim gives you the hero of the village effect. The coast armor armor trim gives you the water breathing effect. The dune armor trim gives you a speed effect. The wayfinder trim gives you a jump boost. The razor armor trim gives you saturation. The shaper armor trim also gives you saturation apparently. The host armor trim gives you the glowing effect. The ward armor trim gives you absorption. The silence armor trim gives you night vision. The tide armor trim gives you luck. The snout armor trim gives you fire resistance. The rib armor trim gives you haste. The eye armor trim gives you regeneration. And lastly, the spire armor trim gives gives you strength. So yeah, that's uh, basically it for the first mod. But would you just look at that village over there? Just just look at it. It, lo it looks beautiful. All right, next mod. This next mod honestly makes me lactate just a little bit. This mod apparently makes it so that you are able to turn any material in Minecraft and also modded Minecraft into a armor trim material. What does that look like? Well, let me show you. But Taco, I'm looking at your inventory right now. You don't have any materials to put in the material slot. I'm sorry, but when I say any material, I mean any material. That's right. You can even use smithing tables as material. It doesn't really show up as much, but what do you want? Apparently, funny enough, uh, air counts as a material. Now, the bigger question is, can we use the smithing template itself as an item? Oh, yeah, you absolutely can. I gotta be honest with you, I really like that. I'm a big fan of the color blue. Blue just reminds me of better times. It reminds me of the good old days when me and your mother weren't fighting all the time. At this point, you get the gist of the mod. Here's a couple of armors thrown up on screens with corresponding materials. Wow, isn't that one cool? Wow, isn't that one cool? I'm inclined to say that all of those armors looked rather schnazzy. I got a product that'll knock your socks off. Pay no attention to the fact that we're using the same set as the first mod. My name is Tobias Tabuscus Tabasco and I've got a product that you're gonna love. We call it the Schmutz Remover 9000. <laughs> Listen, we've all made questionable fashion decisions in our lifetime and you know what? This might be one of them. I got a confession to make. I don't really like the Vex armor trim. I don't like that it's just a straight line going down my center. It's like I'm being targeted for a chainsaw attack. That comment made more sense in my head than when I said it out loud. So what's the point of the schmutz remover? Hey, don't get too excited now that I've taken off my clothes. The schmutz remover works by holding the schmutz remover in your hand and you go ahead and you right click when you have the schmutz room. Or do you right click when you have the helmet in your hand? Wait, what do I do? Wait, no, that's not how that works. You know, if I did a modicum of research, I would have been prepared for this point. I would see I've made a critical error in how I use the schmutz remover, the product that I'm supposed to be selling to you and I should be intimately aware of by now. So you got this thing called an offhand. You're going to want to put the armor that you find no longer desirable in your offhand. And then you're going to want to go, yeah. OK, you're going to want to go, yeah. And then there you go. The schmutz remover removed the schmutz. We've got a normal helmet now. And then you, these numbers went up. The schmutz is no longer on my armor and I got all my gaba goo back. It is my deepest desire that I'm offending somebody right now. Guys, the rain keeps showing up. Can somebody please tell me how to get rid of the rain in the comment section down below? I'm tired of typing in slash weather clear. Listen, we've all been there before, okay? We've been schlinking the doink and then out of nowhere, we spurts all over our helmets. You didn't expect it to go that far, but alas, you were standing taller and more proud than usual. Well, with the schmutz remover 9000, you can just get rid of that spunk like yunk. Get your schmutz remover 9000 
thousand uh, link in the description down below. There's a link to all the mods. All the mods are always linked in the description down below. I'm basically doing charity work over here, okay? No mod has ever succeeded or thrived unless it's been reviewed by me. I am the gold standard, damn it. I am the Michelin man. Guys, talk over in the future. Don't pay attention to what's on my back right now, okay? You're spoiling the rest of the video. I just wanted to remind you all that if you're having a good time, okay, you could have more of a good time if you hit the subscribe button and then watch more videos in the future. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers, okay? But if we want that number to get even bigger than 5,000, my channel is definitely not a cult. You have nothing to worry about. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This next mod makes me want to kiss men. Now, I totally get it. I understand. The taco, you've gone too far. This goes beyond reusing sets, okay? You're reusing sets from different videos now. Do you know how long it takes to put every single armor trim on a piece of armor, just like this armor that I'm currently wearing? Why am I even humoring this, okay? You see, this insolence. Who am I even arguing with right now? <laughs> While I wait for the Psyche Val results, I will explain what is going on here. You might see this and you might go, I don't understand what's happening, Taco. What is happening? We're talking about the, the stackable armor trims mod. That's a mod that allows you to stack armor trims. It's a pretty revolutionary mod that allows you to stack armor trims. In case you couldn't tell through either the visuals or the fact that the mod is called stackable armor trims. It's okay, guys. You can be brutally honest with me. I just need to know if I was playing hide and seek, would I win with this spot? So yeah, the stackable armor trims mod allows you to add multiple armor trims to the same piece of armor. Uh, in this case, in this armor that I'm wearing right now, we added uh, amethyst colored of every trim to this set of netherite armor. So theoretically, you could just like make any color armor you possibly could want. And depending on what order you add the trims in, I know it's going to always kind of look just like a mess of color, but there will be slight variation in like the different uh, shades and the, the different pixels and where they'll be and whatnot. I don't know. It might be a little different. You might like it. It's going to be different and unique every time. And if you want to create some cool stuff like this, you can also can do that as well and stuff that's not as quite as complicated and convoluted and obnoxious as this. This was referring to the armor, not me, obviously. I, I could never be obnoxious. Don't pay attention to what's going on in the background over there. It is not an insight into how I make thumbnails, okay? Don't look behind the scenes. Last but not least, the mod that we're going to look at is the Elytra Trims mod. But if you've already seen the Elytra Trims mod video, there is actually something extra in it, first of all. And second of all, we're absolutely reusing the assets. Roll it. So yeah, you might have been able to tell by the fact that I literally just told you, but uh, this mod is called the Elytra Trims mod. And as you probably could have guessed, it adds trims Elytras to trims trims. Wait, what? But it does more than just add armor trims to Elytras. These Elytras are also dyed different colors. When I say different colors, they're kind of all just one color. They're all black other than the one on my back, which I believe is dyed white. But not only can you add armor trims, not only can you change the colors of all of your Elytras, you can also add banner patterns to the back of your Elytras. And those work in combination with the different armor trims that you put on. And I think that's pretty swell. It makes this mod very similar to the customizable Elytras mod, but there is one difference that I have noticed. And that is if you follow me back down into my secret hole, that's right, we're reusing the secret hole. Oh, and there's the cum sign. You know, we're not above reusing cum on this channel. I don't know if it's taking you this long to catch on, but, but my videos aren't really family friendly. <laughs> but Tonka, what's the difference? These are both the same thing, the same color, the same armor trim. Well, guess what? If I go like that, boom, that's right. If you add the glow squid ink dye to the, the Elytras, it goes ahead and it goes. Now, if that doesn't make you bricked up, I really don't know what would. But Taco, you said that there was going to be something additional, something extra. Don't pay attention to that thing in the background. No more behind the scenes for you. But yeah, Taco, uh, no weaseling out of it. You said that there was going to be more. There's going to be extra. What, what, what? Where's my extra? What did you do? What, what, where's my extra? What have you done with it? Are you holding it hostage? Do I have to call somebody? There's actually a second Elytra Trims mod uh, called the Elytra Trims Extension made by the same creator as the Elytra Trims mod. And it allows the Elytra Trims mod to be compatible with a couple different mods. And right now, in this very next moment, the one coming after this one, I'm going to be showing you guys what those different armor trims look like. And then immediately after the slideshow, the video will abruptly end.